Well, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nina. I run a blog and YouTube called Style with Nina. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, you have amazing taste. So here we talk about beauty, luxury, fashion, and travel. If any of those things interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified of all of my amazing videos. So let's jump right into it. On today's video, I will be doing a unboxing haul, whatever you want to call it. Here you go. So today's video, I am going to be unboxing some things that I got from Hermes as well as um, Fendi. It's not going to be what you guys think, but it may. I don't know. Um, leave a comment in the description right now. Let me know what you think I got from Hermes. Okay, so um, the items from Hermes are, they weren't purchased all at one time. Some of the items are from Hermes, but let me just go ahead and jump into it. Should I do Fendi first, y'all? Or should I do Hermes? What should I do? So, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into, I forgot my mirror. Good goobity goo. My father says that a lot. Good goobity goo. Anyway, um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump into the Fendi since it's just one item. I have been wanting this particular item for at least two years. I kid you not, for at least two years. Um... I was kind of bummed, so I found the item on a, um, oh, what site was it? I'm not going to throw out no site names. Why? Because I ain't been, this video is not sponsored. So until I'm sponsored, that's when, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I actually found um, the glass, well, I didn't mess around and say what it is, but there are glasses. Um, what I don't like about it is it did not come in the original case. I did get them from amazing for an amazing price, so I guess I can look over that. So I have been wanting these sunglasses for a good two years. And I was a little disappointed when they came in because the ones I wanted, I don't know why Fendi does this, but they are two exact style. They're the same glasses, but one is bigger than the other. And I did not know that until this one came in. So let me show you guys what it is. I don't want to move my chair up. I feel like I'm too far away. Okay, so what they are, they are the Fendi. I'll put the correct name. Uh, oh, I'm scared to take this off. I don't want to scratch up my lenses, y'all. Let's go ahead and take that off. Okay. Can I get this off in a decent time? Okay, so I don't want to scratch up my lenses, so I am going to just leave the little sticky thing on there until um, I'm finished recording. So these are the glasses that I get. Let me get in closer. They are the Fendi, 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 I'll put the name somewhere, put the name somewhere. Anyway, let me take these off and put them on so you guys can see what they look like on. They are dirty, whatever. But they just got the double Fs inside of the, um, the lens. I wanted the ones, like I said, that were bigger, but I think I'll go ahead and keep these because again, I got them for an amazing price. Um, so I know I can easily get a replacement case. I'm actually looking, I found one that's vintage that I think I'm going to get for these. So this is the first item. I think they're cute. I feel like the, um, the bigger ones would have been more fabulous, but these are still fabulous nonetheless. 
I do have some Mew Mews. I don't even know if I opened them up on this um, channel, but I got some Mew Mews that are this size as well. So that's why I was going back and forth like, should I take them back? Should I return them? Should I keep them? But um, for the price I paid for them, I could wear them for a year and, and resell them and get all my money back. I told y'all that's how I like to do things. So anywho, that is the first thing. Let me go ahead and take this off. I did put this in my own Fendi box because it came janky. So that's that. Let's see, can we do, can we make that look like something in the video? Okay, so let me go on to what you guys really, really, really are interested in. I'm just gonna start with this. I think I know what this is. So I, came with this is again I got this from um, one of my consignment boutiques in my area that knows I'm a girl who likes packaging and all of that stuff so whenever they sell me stuff they already be looking for let me you know what I'm saying let me give you this let me make sure it's it's um, packaged well I did not tell them that I have a YouTube channel um, but they just know I spent enough money there where they know give me give me some packaging even if it ain't the packaging that originally came with said item I still want something so anyway I'm rambling so just get I'm gonna stop saying I just get cuz listen so what it is is this is an Hermes Twilly and what I like about it is let me see if I can get close without messing up my whole setting. So what I like about it is that it has the, um, it's a vintage Twilly and it has the Hermes on, you know, written out on it. And I like the color. This was a unique color in my opinion. So I got that. I don't know what my fascination is with Twillies. Um, I think I got one from probably every brand and ain't never used none of them. I used the, the Louis Vuitton one just to put it on top of my Pouchette Matisse. Um, because I like the original Pouchette Matisse with the um, Pouchetta leather. Or Vachetta, I think it's Vachetta, but tomato, tomato, um, even though I think it's tomato. But anyway, um, I just love Twillies. I do. You can wear them several ways. You can, you know, tie them in a little bow. You can wear, that as, wear it as a bracelet. Um, you can wear it around your neck as a little bow. That one seems a little short, so I don't quite know, but several ways to wear the Twilly, hence the book that it came with. Okay, okay, so this right here, y'all know if you've been watching my channel, that I'm trying to say the, the, bet, the good for last, you know what I'm saying, keep y'all on, you know, watching my video or whatever. So, um, if you know, if you've been following my channel, my last few videos have been a lot of fragrance unboxings. And let me tell you why. So this is another fragrance I'm opening up and talking. Um, I didn't know that fragrances was a big deal on the YouTube. So I've been sleeping on it. You know, I've been from since two years ago. Uh, people have been requesting to see my um, fragrance collection. And I was just like. Why would you want to see my fragrance collection? You can't smell it on through the YouTube or whatever. However, it's it's like a real thing here on the YouTube. So your girl is is has fallen right into line. So get this gift set. I'm trying to open it up. It is the Hermes. Um, La Collection 
Des Parfums Jargons. I'm sure I murdered that. Um, this is an Hermes gift set. I don't even know if I got I'm pretty sure I did not get this from Hermes. Maybe Sephora? I'm thinking maybe I got this for Sephora. And if I'm being perfectly honest, and this is how ridiculous it is, I like the box. I just got it because of the box. Um, I think Hermes boxes are amazing. So I just bought it because it, it was the box. So I don't even know if I, I don't know what this smell like. And I don't even care. But it's just little small um, fragrance samples. I think they're called something else. They're not called fragrance samples, but that's what I'm going to call them. Because that's like a, I'll say travel size fragrance collection. And this is a way for me to try out some of the Hermes fragrances. I have purchased one, ended up giving it to my husband because it was very um, masculine. So anyway, if you watch me, you know I have an OCD problem. I got to put the stuff back in this packaging. So I'm going to put that up there to show you guys what's inside of the box. And that is that. I am about to, but you'll get a heads up by watching this video. But I am going to put together a, um, a luxury gift guide. And this will be included in it. So stay tuned for that but this is something like i said that you can buy um the packaging alone you know if you're at work i don't know if some people are back at work um if you're at work or you know get those type of events where you have to pull the name out of the hat and buy something stuff like this and the next thing that i'm gonna open up is really really great and cost effective so stay tuned for my gift guide for the holidays. That is dry. Okay, so the next thing I'm just going to, and hopefully this isn't sold out. Um, this is something else that would make an amazing gift. It's wrapped so pretty, I don't even wanna open it up. And I don't know if you guys do this or you even know about this, but whenever you're shopping online, always you know say that it's a gift especially from like your luxury fashion houses like um hermes chanel um fendi all of them have like free gift wrapping so why not get it gift wrapped and that way you ensure that it's going to come with the box it's going to come with all the stuff that it should come with because it's a gift and it's a gift to yourself so Go ahead and do the gift wrapping. So that's how it came. Came with a note card, which is very cute. Why is it sticky? Okay, so came with the note card. Oh, I love, I love it. Let me see if I can slide it off without taking. Oh, I'm not gonna ever be able to get this back right. So cute. Okay. Slip that in there. So I purchased this a few months ago. I was itching the shop, but I was trying to be responsible and say, girl, you don't need nothing. Why are you, you know, but the pandemic was getting to me. Um, and I had, um, was just on the Airman site up under gifts and ran across this bad boy. It is an Airman's pop up book. Because I'm not going to open it up, but yeah, it's a cute Airman's pop up book. And it was, y'all, it was cheap. It was cheap. So your girl had to get it. I don't want to say it was less than $50, but I think I think it was. 
And y'all know the box alone to be selling on the, on the sites for that. So that is that. Okay, so I saved the best for last. Unfortunately, when I purchased these, they did not have the box. I don't think this box. Oh, wait. Will this box work? We're going to see. So, anyway, I've been fighting this purchase for forever and ever. I did not want to be the girl with the with the, the same old stuff that everybody and their mama got. But I actually I was at the airport traveling somewhere and tried these on and was hooked so but I wasn't about to uh, I wasn't that hooked to buy it right there I don't think they had the color I wanted I think they had the classic um, tan color and on my skin type on my skin type but on my shade of caramel the tan just kind of blends too much into my skin tone so didn't like it anyway you probably already know what it is and i had it packaged way better than this but i took the the things out so i get the hermes oran sandals i am a u.s size nine and the best size to fit me is I'm a US size nine, eight and a half, nine. And what fits me the best is the 40 and a half. Yeah, the 40 and a half fit perfectly. I don't think I'm gonna try them on. You know why? Because I got I got uh pandemic feet right now. So <laughs> cause I ain't been out to the I ain't been out to the place where the peoples are to get my feet done. And I was a regular. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I was I was a regular at the Manny Petty place. But anyway, I ain't been since March. February, I think. No, it was March. Right before the shutdown happened was my last appointment. So anyway. Got the Hermes Oran sandals. They are in amazing condition. What I like about these is they're like a, they're leather, but they're kind of more patent. Can y'all see that? They're not a true patent leather, but they're not just the smooth leather. So, yeah, I was at my, my place and they had them. They haven't been worn that often. Cause they still got the little sticker you know the sticker that's at the bottom of them um that's still on there so they haven't been worn i don't like now i'll tell you this about me if you if you don't know i love vintage i am team vintage i am team second hand i am that's just me i love the quality of things that were made in the 90s and uh in younger i'll say that um the stuff made now is just not the same quality and for someone who has owned a vintage um consignment store and resale shop i've been doing this for years i know the difference in quality so i am team vintage all day so yeah so i think these are um, from with the lady. Okay, I don't know where I left off at, but my camera cut off. I'll, but anyway, so these are not, um, and that's why they have the different um, sheen on them. Is because they're, I believe, from the early two thousands. The lady was telling me. So, and the lady just didn't want them no more. So there you have it. Um, so that is it. I got the orange. I'm hoping that they can fit in this box right here so that I don't have to go on a hunt for a box. And I think they will. Wanda! Wanda! They don't 
fit perfectly. Oh wait, why am I doing stuff the hard way? I had them put them in here all catacorn. I got a catacorn problem. So, they definitely, I think I can, I can get them to fit in here. Yep, boom. I don't even have to order a box. I was gonna try to get in touch with an SA of mine's, but they fit in this thing. Come on. So, I am going to, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to stop rambling because I got more videos to record for you guys. Um, I am team consistent on YouTube. I am team, team, team consistent on all my social media platforms and What's my favorite thing to stay, to stay? Why every time I get on the camera, I can't talk? What is my favorite thing to say, you guys? Stay stylish and stay fabulous. Until next time, mwah.